One of the things that, uh, that we discovered was that um, the uh, cities do indeed scale, that in fact, despite appearances, you know, New York is a scaled up Los Angeles, which is a scaled up Cleveland or Santa Fe, um, even though their histories and geographies and cultures are different, that they're, um, you know, to 80, 90% level, they're scaled versions of one another, much like um, despite appearances, a whale is a scaled up giraffe, which is a scaled up mouse. I mean, it's, but, you know, in terms of actually what you measure about them, anything you measure, that that's who, what they are, and they're explained by this network uh, geometry and dynamics. So um, we discovered this about cities, but their scaling was a little more sophisticated, it turned out, than um, uh, animals and plants. Because what we discovered was, in terms of the infrastructure of cities, the roads and electrical lines and gas lines and so on, uh, they, they did scale like biology in the sense that uh, the bigger they were, the less infrastructure they needed per capita. In biology, the bigger you are, uh, the less energy, for example, you need by about 25%. The bigger you are, every time you double here, instead of uh, 25%, it was 15%. You need 15% less infrastructure. And it turned out, when we looked at uh, across all kinds of infrastructure that we could lay our hands on, and across data, and, and uh, data from across the globe, you know, China, Japan, Colombia, Chile, Portugal, Germany, so on, they all looked the same. It always was the same, pretty much. Um, so that was like biology, but except for the 15% rather than 25%. But, and here was the new thing and the most exciting thing, was that in terms of socioeconomic quantities, so quantities that involve the interaction between human beings, which does, do not exist in biology, such as wages, the um, uh, production of patents, uh, the uh, number of AIDS cases, the amount of crime, and so on. All of these things um, scale uh, in a different way. They scale in a, in a fashion we termed superlinear, meaning that instead of the bigger you are, the less per capita, in all these cases, the bigger you are, the more per capita. And the more per capita was by, a, by about 15%. So every time you double a city, instead of having uh, um, uh, I don't know, twice as many patents produced, so twice the innovation, you get an added 15%. So uh, the bigger the city, the more socioeconomic activity, the more creative it is, uh, the higher the wages, the more opportunity, uh, but also uh, the more crime and disease and so forth. So all of these things come along together as a package and um, so that was very nice, and it was quite universal, in quotes, meaning it seemed to be the same in all of the countries where we could get data. And then the question arises, as it did in biology, when the hell do these things come from? You know, how come Japanese and American cities scale in the same way, um, or, you know, Portuguese cities? You know, it wasn't as if there was a Congress in, you know, 1720, when everybody sat down and said, this is how we're going to design our cities. So even though they look different, they're going to obey these rules. Quite the contrary, they evolved organically as organisms did.